here's an image that needs to be cleaned up. All right, let's just pretend the client has said, we want to have a shot of our building from this angle and we want to use it as a uh, main image for our marketing and all that kind of stuff. And they said, but the one thing we want to get rid of is some of the street lamps and the stop lights and all that other nonsense and crap that seems to be around here. All right, and this is not an uncommon thing to get as a photographer, a request from a client to do something like this. All right, so what I've done is I have created a layer and then outlined and numbered all of the different pieces that need to be cleaned up. All right, so I'm going to turn that layer visibility off. I'm going to come back down onto the background layer. I think I might even just make a duplicate by doing the command J uh, thing, which is your copy paste all in one control J if you're on the PC. Now, the tool that I want to use, well, first of all, what I need to do is I need to get rid of this stuff here. And if you'll notice, the building is going back on a little bit of an angle. What I'm saying is we've got some perspective issues with this image that we need to take care of. And if I was just to come in and use the clone stamp tool, or if I was to come in and use the um, uh, polygon lasso tool to come in and go bink, 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 and bink, or down to here, when I move it down this way, I'm going to have to pinch this end so that it matches the converging lines and all that kind of stuff. Well, there's a filter in Photoshop that will allow us to do this quite easily. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, and the more you use it, the better off you'll get. But I want to show that to you. I think it's absolutely amazing. And that filter is right under here in the bottom of the, I call these my the special filters, or whatever. All right, it's called vanishing point. All right, now when we're in the vanishing point filter, we have a number of tools down the left hand side, which will allow us to operate in here. By default, I have this tool, which is the create plane tool. And the create plane tool is going to ask me to define a plane. And then we'll be able to use the clone stamp tool in this example to clone in perspective. I need to zoom in on this. So as we do in the Photoshop document, uh, we can do inside the filters as well. I'm just going to do the command plus, control plus to zoom in a little bit. I hold down the space bar. My cursor changes to a hand and now I have this. All right, what I need to do is I need to replace this part here with something over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and I'm going to look for something that's common. So I'm going to say, okay, I need to possibly start there and I'm going to come over to about here, trying to keep that line as parallel as possible. And all right, do that straight. And now you can start to see that I'm getting this box that's going to show up. If you uh, do your plane grid, whatever it's called, properly your box will stay blue if it's a little bit off it goes red and if it's totally unfunctional it'll show up as yellow all right so let's see if i come down here and just about that should work and it says you're not straight and lined up and all that kind of stuff because this line is on an angle this one is straight up and down so what I have to do is just move it over here. Now you can see it's gone blue. And now Photoshop is saying, yes, we can actually work with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor here and I'm going to drag this down. And you can see the more I drag down, the more in perspective stuff goes. So I'm just going to drag over to the edge of the building here. I don't need to go any further. What I'm going to do now is make a choice between using a clone stamp tool or using the painting tool. Uh, paintbrush. So I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. And this will allow us to set the diameter of our brush, the hardness of our brush, how dense the opacity, and whether or not we're going to use any healing at all, or if we're going to use luminance healing, or we're going to choose just to have the regular healing on. All right, And they work a little bit differently. I'm going to choose to have the luminance on for the first round of things just to see how things will go. So I have to, uh, I believe I have to option click to kind of go through this. So let's see if I come over here. Now I'm looking to start to replace the pixels just about this area. 
So I have to look for double windows. And I have double windows here and I have double windows over here. I like these ones here because they're getting a little bit closer. So I'm just going to option click up there. You can see I've got that. I'm dragging it over to here. I'm going to line it up as best as I can there. And then I just come in and start to paint and I'm off. All right, I'm off by quite a bit. So I'm going to undo that. You see how this is the luminance blending? All right, let's come over here and try that again. And I'm gonna click, let's try this. I'm gonna click right where that joins that. And I can come over here and if I'm good enough, I can come in and do this. And come down and just sweep across there a little bit, down and cover that up, and done. That's luminance. All right, and there was a little bit of blending going on, but you know, how much? A little bit, not much, and but it worked, and that's the good thing. So I'm going to come back here, and what I'm going to do is click on this tool, and I'm going to start the process all over again, but now I need to work in this area here. So I'm going to zoom in. And now sometimes what you might be able to do, depending on the building that you have, you can actually create your plane as an example here, and then click and drag it down this plane or this angle, this side of the building. But because of the angle that this portion that juts out is on an angle towards us, as well as an on an angle towards our right, that's not going to be possible. So what I'm going to have to do is this in a couple of pieces. And this area here might be problematic because of the darkness on this side and the brightness on this side. We'll just have to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come on that side of that line, come down to, as an example, let's see, well, I'm only going to work on this area here, so I'm only going to come down to here. And then I'm going to come over to this edge here, and I'm going to come up to this edge here. And we'll see whether or not that is going to allow me. See, it went yellow because this is here. That's going off wonky in that direction. So now what I have to do is come over here and do this until it goes blue, until it turns blue, red, blue. And then what I can do is I can come over here and grab this and bring this all the way over just so I have that. All right, now I'm going to come back over here. I've got luminance again. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to reduce the diameter of my brush. So something about that big. And where I want to start cloning is possibly something like this over here to come up and over and then move down. I'm going to have to do it in portions because of the way clone stamps work. So I'm going to click right there to option click to set that point. Come in here and start to paint. Notice how I'm bringing that back in. So you have to be really, really careful how you're doing this. So I'm going to back out of that completely. And I'm going to start the process all over again. So this time what I think I may do is come over here and sample that. And then come over here and start to paint. Notice I didn't get to go over to that edge. Get that out of there. Come down. I'm bringing in new, new window shades, but that's okay. And I'm taking out the window over there. And I get to replace some of this stuff up here. That's good. And then I can just come over here and clone that out. That's going to be really, really simple just to come over here and click at that point. Come over here, just kind of do that. And I've gotten rid of that. I may want to come in and repair that little area with the uh, regular uh, stamp tools or whatever. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is come over and just do this side a little bit. All right, so I'm going to come over and I'm going to create. What if I come over here and have that guy slide this? Can I actually get rid of that guy? Thank you. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new thing. And that's going to start here. And it's going to come down to there. Uh, let's go down 
around to here, come over to here, and it says we're in the red as far as that being acceptable. So now I move this into the blue, and then what I can do is extend this over to the edge. Grab the clone snap tool. I'm going to see what on is, right? Healing rather than luminance. And what I need to do is grab two window widths. So if I come over here, I can start to grab two window widths. So if I came in and option click there, I can come over here and start to paint. Again, we're bringing in extra other window stuff, but that's okay. And we're getting rid of this. I don't want to go too far with some of that stuff. But let's bring this over as well. All right, and I'll have to go into using the clone snap tool a little bit later on to fix that. I'm just going to come down and do this. Looks like we're moving everything down a little bit. That may or may not be the right thing to do, but just letting you see how the tool works. I don't like that at all. I don't like anything that happened with that. I'm going back to luminance. Okay. And let's come back up over to here. And I'm just going to option click there. And I need to bring over this window and this window. So let's just do this. And in here, bring this down, come across. I think I wanted to come into here and do something like this. Get rid of that doubling window in there. We've got that, and that's even worse. Let's go back and do the cloning on. Let's try it with off. Let's just see what's going on here. And I'm going to have to. And click again and this time we may be absolutely bang on with this come in get rid of this get rid of that ah oh, much better much 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 better all right so again the rest would be the same down here. Getting rid of that, I would come out of this and say this is absolutely, oh, let's just wait. <laughs> All right, so that cleaned up that quite nicely. I'd have to come in here and fix that up. I'd have to come over here and fix that up, but at least I got this thing to clone in perspective. All right, and the other thing that I would possibly do is come over here and come in as close as I could to that and do the edit, fill, content aware, and deselect, and you can see I got rid of that. It'd be very easy to fix up any little doohickeys and doodads that happen to be associated with doohickey and doodad. And boom. So it's just a matter of repeating that process over and over and over again to get you where you want this to be. I'm not going to do the whole image. That would just be ridiculous to watch me go through. I've explained how the tool works, how the filter works, and now it's just a matter of getting it better. What I may want to do is just come in and fix that, like I said, and fix that. But I'm personally not going to do that at this point in time. I'll let you guys do that.